Hello everyone, it's Shannon with Shannon's Crafty DIYs. In today's video, I'm going to share with you three boho inspired DIYs. I got these ideas from Pinterest, so they are Pinterest dupes. Each DIY cost me under $2 each to make, so very affordable and cost efficient and very easy to do. So stick around, you'll see all the results at the end of the video. First DIY, I saw this beautiful mirror on Pinterest. So I'm just using one of these mirrors from the Dollar Tree. I took the backing off because um, what I wanted to do is use my Rust-Oleum metallic gold spray paint and I just gave it one coat of paint. So here it is all finished with the gold. So I'm just going to reattach the backing just with some hot glue. And um, I don't know about you guys, but you know, I, I did say I really liked the hot glue from the Dollar Store but I'm finding it dries really slow even though it's a high heat hot glue you guys let me know what you think about their hot glue as well here I'm just taking some of the foliage I actually got this from the dollar rama so I'm just going to pull apart these leaves what's good about these uh, leaves is that you can just pull them off and then when you're done with them if you don't need them anymore you can just reattach them to the stem to keep them organized in your craft pile so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to attach some of the leaves to the backing in order to make it look fuller. You'll see in just a moment uh, what I mean. So attach to the back and then I'm going to fill it in in the front with some more of the leaves. And so here, just to cover the stem, you'll see that I'll use one of the other leaves and just hot glue it to the stem. That way it just hides it and just makes it look a little bit more clean as well. So here it is with the leaves. Oh, I just love mirrors because you see everything. So here I am. <laughs> uh, anyway, I just took this burlap ribbon from the Dollarama. There's different sizes on there. So I'm just gonna use the smaller size and just measure out how much I need for the hanger. Now with the burlap, you see it's all bended. So what I did was I just used my, uh, my hair straightener and I just went over it a few times to smooth out all the kinks. In the the ribbon now I'm just gonna hot glue them in place and then here it is again you see me oh my goodness <laughs> anyway here it is all final I thought this was super cute it looks a little bit different than the Pinterest but hey for under two dollars you can't go wrong so here it is <laughs> For the second DIY, I know I've already uh, created something like this with the metal uh, wreath form, uh, the circular one. So I know I've done it already, but I just wanted to give you a, guys a different idea using the dowel rods and making a triangular shape as well. So I'm just taking some of the Dollar Tree dowel rods and I'm going to hot glue them in place to create my triangle. And just to make it a little bit more boho inspired, I'm just taking some of my white kitchen twine and I'm going to wrap it around each corner just to tie everything in. And it also helps to hide the uh, hot glue as well.
So once that's done, here is where you can just get creative and use any sort of foliage or uh, flowers that you have on hand. So I'm just going to use um, one of these leaves that I already had, and I'm just going to use some boxwood just to decorate it a little bit in one corner. Now, what's great about this is that you can do this for any season. So even in the fall, you can use some nice, beautiful red and orange leaves as well, pumpkins even. So get creative here. So I'm just using what? I already had on hand for this and you'll see in just just a moment the final results so you'll see one with just the uh, leaves and then you'll see another one where I added just a flower as well And for the third and final DIY, I saw these hanging baskets uh, from Pinterest and I thought these were super cute. And I also saw them actually at Home Depot. They were selling them for, I think, two for $30. And I'm going to create one for under $2. So very simple and very affordable <laughs> to do it yourself. So I'm just using some more of the dowel rods. So I'm going to take five of the longer dowel rods and I'm just going to use two of the smaller dowel rods. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create my background. So I'm recreating a triangle and you'll, or sorry, not a triangle, but a diamond shape. So I'm just using some hot glue to seal everything together. So here I have my final shape all made and created. Now I wanna, I'm definitely gonna be spray painting a gold soon, but before I do that, because I know with the gold spray paint, it takes forever to dry. So what I'm gonna do is I just wanted to create my outline for the white basket part. So I'm actually just using my foam board and I'm creating three triangles, one larger for the back, and I'm gonna create three smaller ones to create my dome shape in the front. And then just using my exacto knife or if you have a paper cutter either or uh, go ahead and cut out the shapes now don't use scissors i find scissors just create such a choppy result so i find the exacto knife just makes a nice smooth finish on the foam board So now I'm just measuring the large triangle and the smaller triangle to make sure that everything fits well. Here I only cut out one of the smaller triangles because what I'm gonna do is once that's the perfect size, I'm just going to trace it over the, the rest of the foam to create another duplicate. Just makes it easier instead of cutting out each one and you know, resizing and this and that. So just a lot simpler. So 
So here I'm just gonna hot glue all the triangles together. And in order to make sure that I have the right height, I'm going to hot glue one side and then just use my other triangle just to balance everything out in order for the hot glue to dry in the appropriate spot. Now I think what's nice about the hot glue, even though it does dry a lot slower, in this situation you actually have some time to play around with making sure the foam is in the right place before it sets completely. So just measuring out, making sure that everything fits. And then I'm gonna go ahead and spray paint the frame in my Rust-Oleum Gold Spray Paint. I feel one coat is all it needs to give you that nice shiny gold finish. And I didn't show you the end, but what I did was I just hot glued just the edges of the foam to the frame very gently so I didn't have any seeping glue. But here it is all finished and I thought it turned out super great and I I used some of my ferns that I was able to use and I switched it up a little bit with using some boxwood that I had on hand. So again, you can use whatever you like in this hanging basket. And what's great about these three DIYs guys is that each one cost me under $2 to make and super fun and easy to do. I hope you guys had a lot of fun with this video. And if you guys are not a subscribed yet, I would love it if you could go ahead and hit that subscribe button and click on that bell as well. You will be notified every single time I upload a new video. That's it, guys. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will definitely see you at my next video. Bye for now.